Fine. Well, thank you very much, John. And uh, John and I have been very much involved in, um, in, in, in the, these community issues, really, since we were both elected to Parliament in 1992 and been, uh, been involved in raising the cases of abuses of, hu of human rights during the emergency and subsequently, and much more recently, the uh, question of the possible execution of Balwant Singh and a big campaign right the way across the community, and one in which, which also featured here in Parliament. And I think it's clear that that was heard in the Indian government as they, have, uh, as they have held back. Governments are sensitive to these, uh, to, to these pressures. And that's why it was a real pleasure today to be with John and Seema Malhotra and, uh, and, and, and other MPs um, in order to present the petition at number 10 Downing Street to highlight this issue. There's a considerable number of signatures already, many more coming in, and I hope today's meeting will be part of the campaign to get more signatures on that, on that petition to, as John says, persuade the British government to use its influence, its active in campaigning in the international community over the, over the death penalty with a number of countries, and I think they need to be exerting themselves in order to make the argument to the Indian government, particularly as the Indian government is, uh, is seeking to be a member of the Security Council, making that, ar making that argument that they ought to be following the higher international standards and one which more and more countries are adopting. And that's why it's very good today, uh, both at the pre presentation of the petition and here, here today, to see other organisations that have been concerned with human rights over a long period of time, Amnesty International, for example, who uh, on a number of occasions have sought to undertake investigations in India in order to investigate abuses of human rights and have been pushed back, but that has not stopped them from campaigning on these issues. I realise that this has seemed very much like a, a long road, particularly for many in the community, some of whom who suffered individually, many of whom whose relatives suffered. And probably the worst cases of all, I always think, are awful though they are, are the cases of those who were badly treated, even of those who died. But the worst cases are those who were disappeared, those for whom the families have never had closure, never knew what happened to their, uh, to their loved ones. And those, that is an issue that is still going on and needs resolution so that they can finally have peace and know what happened to their loved ones and ultimately, hopefully also, bring, uh, bring others to justice for their fate. So it has been a long campaign, but at the same time it has been an increasingly successful campaign, and I think that the, uh, the very widespread concern over the possible executions showed that there was really strong international concern, not just in the UK, but in many other countries. We were only a small part of, part of that, but I think it has shown that there is deep concern, not just in the Sikh community, but those who are more widely concerned about, uh, uh, for, for human rights. And that is why it is, uh, well, I was going to say a pleasure. It is good to be with you and good to, work, good to work, with, work with yourselves. But at the same time, also, it has been a long, uh, a long haul, and we want to finally see this being brought to a, su to a successful conclusion. Thank you very much.